All right, people, today we're talking about pumps. We're out here on this beautiful marsh. No better place to get up here and you just want to bring your shoulders up. Oh, I'm just shrugging in your ears. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, 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 I just happened to be across the street and I was watching you do pull ups. Oh, yeah. And, like yeah, 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 no, your pull ups are great. But your shoulders were a little high. Oh, you don't like that? Yeah, I, I you know, I think you're, you, you're probably going to end up hurting your shoulder. So let's try to keep as much space between your shoulder and your ear as possible. Really get your lats involved. Good trap, slow trap. Sink the scapula down as you pull up. Let's give that a shot. See how much space we can keep between your ear and your shoulder. All right. Nice. Oh, that's a lot better. More like that? Yeah. Now, if you want, you can do some little shrugs. So you can hang at the bottom, and that's where you can get those shrugs in. So nice up and down shrugs. Perfect. Getting really good scapula control. Lower traps coming in, lats firing. That looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Nice work. Good yeah, pull-up. Yeah, you just want to arch your back. Really helps you get the lats involved. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's been pretty impressive arching, I have to Thank say. You. I've been working on it. Yeah, except what about our abs? So what about them? Yeah, so we want our abs to work a little bit in pull-ups as well. So can I get you to think maybe more of a body hollow position for pull-ups? So let's give that a shot. Body hollow. Yeah, body hollow. So instead of so much paraspinal that's going to make your back feel really tight, let's get your abs involved. Kind of bring your feet out in front of you a little bit for me. There you okay. go. And kind of tuck your bottom under just a little bit. Let's get that. Now hold that position and give me a pull-up. So shoulders away from your ears. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. That's some awesome abs. That looks really good. That probably feels really good on your back, too. Right? Yeah, it feels a lot better. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice work. Those are some good looking pull ups. Thanks. Yeah, and if you're just feeling a little tired at the end of the day, you can just stick your chin up. That way you can get uh, just barely enough to get over the bar. <laughs> All right, well, that is one way, right? To get that chin up, you can just cheat, cheat, cheat the, last, the last portion of your pull up. But if you really want to do it right, you want to keep your head a little more neutral position. So that head in line with your body instead of looking okay. up. And that way you can really get a lot more scapula versus upper trap. So as soon as that chin starts to come up, feel how your scapula want to tip forward, oh, upper yeah. traps want to fire. Yeah, so if we want to keep more uh, mid-back, lower traps, all of that working for our pull-ups, then we want to think about keeping our head in line with our body. Mm. Yeah, so make sure your mullet doesn't touch your back. There you oh, go. That's hard to do. Yeah, so keep that mullet away. Pa, look at that. That's a good finisher. All right, folks, I think we have some good pull-ups now. Right on. <laughs> we just gonna keep going. <laughs>